Today I'll be reading from Libre Sextus, Firmicus Maternus, Theory and Practice. The Moon and Mercury in Conjunction. The Moon and Mercury located together indicate all learning together with the greatness of power. For those who have the Moon and Mercury together easily learn whatever they study. But there is no influence of Jupiter, the Moon, and Mercury make liars of men whose activities are unstable and unchangeable. Their mothers are also intelligent but incur scandal from intercourse from inferior men. The moon is in better combination if she holds a smaller number of degrees and if Mercury is found in a larger number. Mercury, the moon in conjunction. Now that we have finished all these discussions before our work, turns into examples and concerning of the ascendant, we must briefly call your attention that all charts you should consider the planet on which the moon attaches herself before the native is born. For the benefit planet is either in conjunction with the rise of the moon or in a favorable aspect with her. This will make a good forecast for the one who is approached birth is not to bring into light. But there is also an association with the malefic planet, a mediocre, obscure chart is indicated. My dear Metaverus, we could explain to you all the effects of the combination of the planets. What is accomplished by an individual planet as it trines or square aspect, and what they mean in conjunction or opposition, also what the lesser power of the sex style signifies. But we shall point out all of these things more clearly to you, confused as they are in every kind forecast, when all powers are brought together and joined, I shall explain the secrets of the protests and whatever we have described in general, we shall show again in detail. That was Libra Sextus, the moon in conjunction, and the moon and Mercury in conjunction. I will be having more videos come up on ancient astrology and Hellenistic astrology. Please like, share, and subscribe, and thank you for listening.